we found embattled Buyende District Police Commander Muhammad Chirumira at his home in Ibrenga Wachiso District. Still in his uniform, the assistant superintendent of police told NTV that he will soon return the uniform he has donned for 12 years. It is on a sad note that I resigned from a duty which I have been calling noble, but circumstances surrounding it do not allow me to exercise it. So it was an error by the police command to promote a person on acceleration from assistant inspector to assistant superintendent of police, whereas they have record that the person is a criminal. When you are undergoing a disciplinary court, you cannot dream about departure. You can't. So he was undergoing this. He's breaching the law. So does this mean that he doesn't know the law? The latest trouble for the eccentric popular police officer began with his appearance before the police disciplinary court last week. He was charged with torture, extortion, corruption, bribery, unlawful arrest, and excessive use of authority. He allegedly committed the offenses between 2013 and 2014 as the officer in charge of Nasana Police Station in Wachiso and Old Kampala as Division Police Commander. If this matter is complete, I will tender in my, appoint, my, my application for early retirement. The, the long and short of it is he's uh, presenting himself as a very indisciplined officer, which should not be tolerated. Muhammad Chirumira shot to the limelight about six years ago in Nansana for his hands-on approach in fighting crime and breaking criminal gangs that were terrorizing residents. Because of his style of work, Chirumira endeared himself to the common person wherever he worked. In fact, President Yorim Seven ordered his promotion from Assistant Inspector of Police to Assistant Superintendent of Police, skipping one rank Inspector of Police. But the police leadership found fault with Chirumira. He was suspended on allegations of bribery and connivance with criminals. He was later taken out of Nansana and deployed in Buera on Kasese Congo border. From Buera, he was deployed at Old Kampala Police Station and later transferred to Buyende District in eastern Uganda, his posting until recently. But be aware that several other police officers, cowards, who don't want to speak their heart, are suffering internally because the force has of late chose to work with informal people, the likes of Chitata. Chirumina accuses some senior police officers of witch hunting him because he was ready to expose their links to criminals. Chitata and his gangs, illiterates, trying to manage border border, trying to manage the transport industry. They shift from managing their own border border to managing markets. There is a footage when Chitata is invading Busega market about three years ago. Criminals we are breeding are going to kill us one by one and we keep raising ourselves that we are irreplaceable. We have left here with your police. Let the good ones work. All that is really the arrogance, the gross misconduct of thinking of appearing bigger than the institutions that we serve. Chirumira is supposed to be tendering in his resignation tomorrow on Thursday pending trial before the police standards unit. I asked him about what his next course of action will be if the same unit finds him innocent and his resignation not approved. Should the police tribunal fail to find me guilty of the continued accusations, I will sue for damages. Although he's ready for trial, Chirumira has no confidence in the police disciplinary court, claiming that it is biased. Police spokesperson Emilia Nikaima dismisses the claims. Because this court has begun two to three months ago and has been done off camera. If you are demanding that we exercise truthfulness, we exercise respect for all, you must measure up. On what next for him, Chirumira says he's eyeing politics. You are going to get the worst politician you have never seen. Leave only these cowards who run around and you dodge, they dodge arrest. I come, you arrest me, you take me to court, I come back, tomorrow the same begins. But he is willing to return to the police if the president redeploys him following a clean-up of the force. 
I plead to you, the President of this Republic, Your Excellency, to put a bigger torch and clean the force yourself, not merely transferring police officers from Mukono to Mpiji and Mpiji to Mukono. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.